Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God has plans for you. He has a purpose for your life. His purposes for our lives, however, are not a one-time event. They are not a, a, a destination that we ought to get to. Rather, it is a journey of continuous discovery, even as you follow our Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Lawrence Mungai. Welcome to DCKZ Life Series. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in. You and I have work to do that was prepared before we ever showed up on this planet. Everyone has a God-given purpose tailor-made just for them. Nobody else can do that which you were called to do. Unfortunately, not everyone on earth gets to live out their purpose. This mobile device has been created by man. It is an absurd thought to think that it was created with no purpose. With all the intelligence that is inside it, with all the application that it can hold, with the amazing camera that it has, with the fingerprint that it has, it is, imp it is, it is, it is foolishness to think that it was created without a purpose. Now when you look at this phone and you look at you, who is more complex? Which one, which one, which one of the two? Which of the two is, 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 is more glorious? Is it this phone or is it your life? Let me tell you now, if you thought it was your phone, it is your life. Your life is so much more complex, so much more beautifully crafted, so much more intelligently put together than this mobile device. Therefore, it is absurd to think that you have been created without a purpose. Some of us are frustrated today because we have made plans before that did not succeed. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 20, the Passion Translation tells us that a person may have many ideas concerning God's plan for his life, but only the designs of his purposes will succeed in the end. Only the designs of God's purposes will succeed in the end. You may ask me, how do I find my personal purpose in God? The answer is very simple. Go to him. Give your life to him first. Make God your pursuit all the days of your life. And as you decide to get to know him, even while you go about your daily activities, slowly, gradually, and surely, you will grow into your purposes in God. Remember, I started by saying that God's purpose is not an event, neither is it a destination. It is a journey of discovery. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 to 12 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. In his book, The Purpose Driven Life, which I highly recommend, Rick Warren outlines five universal purposes of, of God for everyone to be actively pursuing in the now. Number one, worship. Man was created to worship. Go to church, worship God. In your house, worship God. In your life, worship God. Fellowship. Fellowship with God and fellowship with fellowship. Hallelujah. Discipleship. This is where Christ is formed in us. In our submission and in our obedience to our godly leadership, this is where Christ is formed in us. Be discipled. This is a purpose that God has created you for. Discipleship. Service, this is the fourth one. Ministry, volunteer, practice a life, exercise a life of service to God and to people around you. Okota takataka, peleka viombo jikoni, watu wakimaliza kukula sapa, buwanesu apewe sifa. Mission. We have all been commanded to, te commanded to tell the world of the good news about Jesus Christ and his kingdom realm. Finally, God's purposes for your life God's purpose for your life is not an event, neither is it a destination. It is a journey of continuous discovery. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you. God bless you.